The Rafael mess is far from being over. An investigation by the Quint and Brut India exposed how a potential conflict of interest could have jeopardized the offset contract process for the deal. The findings raise some very serious and urgent questions. Our reporter Vakasha gets you more details. So the crux of the matter basically is that you've got uh, the Controller General of Defence Accounts, which is the Ministry of Defence, uh, the Defence Accounts Department, uh, instead of office here, which handles payments, accounts, auditing for defence uh, and the armed, armed forces. They have a specific role under the uh, Rafael deal uh, for the offsets, where they have to audit all the performance of the offset contracts to see that you know there's nothing in there, no irregularities and everything that is 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 on is above board. Now these contracts are obviously potentially going to involve reliance. And yet, two of the senior most officials in the CGDA, Madhulika Sukul and Prashant Sukul, uh, they are related to a man who is a reliance consultant called Shantanu Sukul. So, Shantanu Sukul is Prashant Sukul's brother. So, you've got a very clear, clear cut, straightforward sort of conflict of interest that when those, those audits have to be done, they can't, these two senior officials can't do it because they've got a relative in reliance and who has an interest in it. So, read the rest of the story to find out exactly how this potential conflict of interest has come up and where it, how it could play out and what is the sort of dangerous things it shows about our uh, government processes in India. A midnight drama unfolded in Chennai's SRM University last night when almost a thousand students marched in protest after a second year student was sexually harassed by a male worker in the hostel lift. College officials, instead of taking action, blamed the women for their clothes and called the matter a small incident. Refusing to budge, the students broke the hostel gates and took to the streets in angry protest. Let one person swing over and laugh at this issue. What is laughing? Don't try to make an issue out of nothing. What is laughing in this? I am laughing at your behavior that you are unable to speak properly when we are ready. Arjun, the man who had started masturbating in front of the student in the lift, was finally arrested today morning. Here's some news for you from across the border. Terror attacks rocked different parts of Pakistan today. In Karachi, a separatist group from Balochistan claimed responsibility for gunning down two policemen near the Chinese consulate. Another powerful bomb blast ripped through a busy market in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, killing at least 25 people and injuring over 35 others. Meanwhile, in India, six militants were gunned down in an early morning encounter in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantnag today. Among the dead militants was Azad Malik, one of the accused in journalist Shujat Bukhari's murder. The big assembly elections in Madhya Pradesh, Mizoram, Rajasthan and Telangana are only days away. And as we begin the countdown to know who finally wins the throne in each of these states, stay with the Quint with explainers, ground reports, live coverage and all the fun. Let's take you to Mizoram, where we met this football club owner who is now gunning to be an MLA. My name is Robert Romboy Royte and people call me RRR or Triple R. Since I know the importance of hard working in football, so also will be in the politics. In Madhya Pradesh's Mansour, where six farmers were gunned down during a protest last year, here's a ground report on why angry farmers could jolt the BJP's plan of coming back to power this year. Shivraj Sarkar has made the farmers a bad guy. The government of the farmers will vote the government of the government. और बीजेपी की सरकार अपनों ने देख ली कि क्या कर रही अब बीजेपी को छोड़ के दूसरी सरकार अपन देखेंगे वोट किसान मेरे हिसाब से तो कांग्रेस को ही देंगे क्योंकि बदलाव जरूरी है हमसे अगर सपोर्ट चाहिए तो हमारे हितों के बारे में सोचना होगा सब अपना मसला हल करने में किसान को तो ये लगता है कि कोई किसी का भला नहीं चाहता कुछ नहीं चाहिए हमें क्या चाहिए तुम नेता लोग क्या दोगे वो नेता लोग वोट लेके जाते फिर शक्ल नहीं दिखाते वो उनकी जहाँ तक कुर्सी रहती जहाँ तक वोट तो सर नोटा पर जाएगा हाँ सर the Indian women's cricket team are out of the world T20. They lost to England today. Medra, if you could tell us one reason why India did not fare well today. Well, if it was just down to one reason, it would have to be Mitali Raj. Um, you know, um, the senior most member of the squad had scored 250s uh, in the tournament before she got injured. Harman Preet Singh, the captain, chose to go with the team that won the last match and decided to leave Mitali out. And we saw 23, we saw eight wickets fall within 23 runs. So, you know, I mean, that batting collapse, would, you could only wonder what would have happened had uh, Mithali played the game. And now India are out uh, in the semis and um, the final will see Australia take on uh, England uh, on Sunday. And for all the other news and updates, please go like, share and subscribe to The Quint.